Hello! In today's tutorial, we are going to be making a mock-up. Now, you can find mock-ups all over the internet, but sometimes it's good to know how to do it yourself because then you can put your designs into a multitude of different situations and you aren't just restrained to what you can find available online. Um, these are also especially useful if you're a marketing student because it means that you can sort of put your ideas into action. It makes for awesome presentations and just pretty much wows everybody. So first off, you're going to need to go out into the world and take a photo of an ad that you've seen or a space where you'd like an ad. Now for this one, I'm using a photo of a subway, so we're going to be making a subway ad, but honestly this works for everything. There doesn't even need to be an ad there to begin with. So open that up in Photoshop and let's get started. So once you have this opened up, the first thing that you want to do is change your foreground color to something that stands out. So in this photo, there's a lot of reds, which means I'm going to be making one with maybe some blue. Just that everything stands out and it's a lot easier to see. Now you're going to go into the rectangle mark key tool and put it into sort of where you will want your um, design to be. So in this case, it's this ad right here. And you're going to make from one corner to the other corner of the ad. This is not gonna be perfect in any means, but that's okay. Your selection. So for me, the properties thing comes up, but you can just close that and you see that there's a new rectangle layer. The next thing you're going to do before you do anything else, and this is the important step, which means that you can edit things later, you're going to right, right click it and convert it to a smart object. Now what this basically does is it makes a document inside a document, like documentception. Um, so it means that you can go in and actually edit that um, file without actually editing your entire thing, which is awesome if you have a whole bunch of these on the same page, which I've done before. Now you're going to zoom in on your, right now it's a blue square, Okay, so you're going to zoom in on your blue screen and you're going to change the opacity of it to about 50% so that you can see what's behind, but you can also see what you're doing. Now you're going to go into Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Now basically what you're trying to do here is you're trying to match up your square that's right at the camera, or right at you pretty much, and you're going to try to change the angle of it so that it matches everything else. So for this one, you try to edit it down part that I'm not the best at, but it seems to be easy enough. So basically just want to take everything and make it so that it's the same um, size as your first one, or the one that's there rather. So once that looks good, you can press enter. Now change this back to 100% opacity, and you can see that in the Instead of the ad that's there, you have pretty much a blue square. Now go into your layers and double click on that layer and it should pop up with just a blue rectangle. Now here's the part where you can add absolutely anything that you want to it. So for this one, I've made my own advertisement for a documentary I've been working on in class called The Cost of Looking on Point and I'm putting, I'm putting it out on YouTube on um, the 31st of March, so I'm going to make a fake advertisement for it to put it in. Now, I've already done this part, and you can put anything in here. So if you just want your face all over Times Square, then you can do this as well. So I'm just going to copy-paste this into the rectangle1.psb. Okay, so now, it's not going to come up perfectly because it's probably a hell of a lot larger. Yeah, it is. So just scale that down a lot. Now, obviously, your rectangle and your advertisement aren't going to be the same size, but that's okay because once you put it in the mock-up, most of the time, if you've made your original rectangle a good size, then you can actually just, um... English. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can basically just make it so that it's not the original dimensions. You can stretch it, which I know you're not supposed to do ever, ever, ever with photos. Please don't stretch your images or fonts or anything people unless it's absolutely necessary like in this case. So press enter to save it and now save that which means that the little asterisk in the corner should disappear. If you go back to your original image then you can see that it pretty much looks okay. Now if you scroll out it does look pretty legit. For some things though there will be some different shadows and highlights in it which means that you can go back and add those. So put your opacity down to about 50 again so that you can sort of see what you're doing. I've hid the layer for right now. Make sure you're in black and white and open up your brush tool. Choose a brush with very little hardness and put it so it's relatively big but not overpowering. Now, 
what we're going to do is we're going to add in highlights and shadows. But this one's a little hard to see because it's black, but hopefully your image will have better ones. And you're basically just going to go in with your brush and paint over the areas where there's light and where there is a lot of darkness. This will just give it a bit more accuracy when you put in your photo. Now go into Gaussian Blur and just blur that up a little bit. Let's try 30. So now when you put it over top, this looks ridiculous. Um, so put it back up to 100%. Sometimes you can do it without having to hide the layer, but sometimes it takes a little bit more effort. Now, right now, this looks atrocious. It honestly looks horrible. So we're going to make it cr create a clipping mask over top of our actual advertisement so that you don't see any of the blur or anything outside of it. It's, okay, it still looks bad right now. So what you want to do is you want to play around with the different layers um, so that it uh, makes it look good. So in this case, um, you can also change around the opacity a little bit, so maybe you don't want it as visible. Let's try 50. So in this case, it looks pretty good. Now, the next thing that I'm noticing with this photo, actually, is that you can see a bit of the red and the black up there. So we'll just go in there. And take that out a little bit. So basically what I'm doing for this is I have grabbed the color of another area on the screen that is the color that I want and I'm just sort of brushing it over top of that. And this is not perfect in any means and I'm just going to blur it down a little bit. Put behind. This is not perfect by any means but it honestly makes like just that much difference and it makes it look so much better. So now when you scroll out, you can see that you now have your very own advertisement in a subway or wherever you want. So thank you very much for watching and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials like this.